Piracy, a real issue in the Gulf of Guinea. Another one is illegal, unregulated, and unauthorized fishing. So we see a variety of different countries fishing in here and really pulling material resources, fish and protein, from the, the coastal West Africa shores without, without permission. I think that one is a significant one that we're really trying to work with our partners to get our arms around and to slow down. And then there's a variety of other threats, criminal threats, uh, human trafficking, drugs, other things that are coming in through the maritime environment. So our partners here in coastal West Africa really face a variety of threats in the maritime. And we're really happy. This is the first time we've been able to do a maritime special operations training group here during Flintlock. And it's something we want to sustain. This is the output, the desired output is to build our capacity to be able to to address the emerging security pro problems in our, in our waters. Um, sometimes when they, they are at sea and they are going to board ships, we have what they call opposed boarding. They don't, they don't comply. So we should be able to either drop people from helicopter or do uh, insert our personnel on board to ensure that uh, whatever missions that we have been assigned we are able to achieve them. Number one, it's criminal activity, right? Number two, it actually pulls resources, food, from the mouths of our partners in coastal West Africa. So it's not just a environmental issue, it's also a security issue. So we really are concerned about it and from looking at it from both perspectives. So when you have the fishing taking place, it takes the fish and that commerce away from the Gulf of Guinea nations, and then the, the ramifications are multiple. We also see other activities taking place on top of the IEU fishing or illegal unauthorized and unregulated fishing fleets like human trafficking, like drug movement. And so it's like many smuggling networks or illegal activities, you see multiple layers of illegal activity happening under the guise of IEU fishing. They know, I think they know about our regulations, but they somehow try to flout those regulations because of uh, our enforcement capabilities. Uh -huh. That is one of the biggest problems. If we had enough ships that are out there and they knew that we are monitoring the place, 
will be able to curb this situation.